What is up guys and welcome back to another video and today we have top 10 things you need to know about the thinker. Number 10, there have been four different versions of the DC comic character, the thinker. The thinker is somewhat of a legacy character. DC comics take pride in their legacy characters. A legacy character is a power set and name handed down to multiple characters over decades. There are four separate versions of the diabolical villain that exists in the comics. Each version of the Thinker has their own way of going about their evil doings. Not all of them have faced off against the Flash, but Flash has faced more Thinkers than any other DC hero in history. Number 9, the first Thinker is one of the oldest Flash villains. First making an appearance in 1943, the Thinker was a man named Clifford DeVoe. DeVoe was a Keystone City native who became the district attorney for his hometown and was very excited to fight crime from the courtroom. During his first case as DA, DeVoe was working to put away Keystone's most notorious gangster, but when the defense put a woman on stand, DeVoe refused to ask her any harsh questions and lost the case. He became a despondent after losing his case. DeVoe then became enraged and decided that if he can't beat the crime, he might as well join it. Number 8, the first version of the thinker, Clifford DeVoe, was a founding member of the Injustice Society. The first superhero team ever assembled was called the Justice Society of America, and the team consisted of Flash, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Hawkman, and others. With this much goodness, the supervillains decided that they needed to start working together, and the Injustice Society was formed. Along with the Thinker, the founding members were the Wizard, Gambler, Vandal Savage, and Brainwave. The Injustice Society had a simple goal, to rule the world. They were a constant pain to the Justice Society, often capturing the heroes and even erasing their memories altogether. Number 7, the second thinker, Cliff Carmichael, was Firestorm's nemesis. Even before he became the thinker, Cliff Carmichael was an enemy of Firestorm. To be more exact, Cliff, an exceptionally smart college student, would often bully Ronnie Raymond, the not-so-smart half of Firestorm. Firestorm consisted of two people who were melded into one. One part of Firestorm was Ronnie, an athlete college student, and the other is Martin Stein. In an attempt to seriously injure Ronnie, Cliff accidentally paralyzed his cousin. The guilt drove Cliff mad and he was locked up in a mental institution where he was used in some experiments. One of those experiments included DeVoe's thinking cap. Using the cap, Cliff broke out of the asylum and became the second thinker. Cliff improved the thinking cap by turning it into a chip that could be implanted into the brain. Number 6, Cliff joined the Suicide Squad. After getting his butt kicked by the first Firestorm a bunch of times, Cliff joined up with the Suicide Squad. Well, joined isn't the right term. Cliff was forced to become a member after he got caught trying to kill Amanda Waller, the head of Suicide Squad, and superhero Oracle. Some of you may know Oracle, whose civilian name is Barbara Gordon, by her other superhero identity, Batgirl. After a few missions with the Suicide Squad, Cliff decides to betray his team and team up with the supervillain known as Cabal. Free from the Suicide Squad, Cliff hunted down the second Firestorm when he learned that a piece of the original Firestorm existed within him. Using his powers, Cliff erased the remaining consciousness of Ronnie Raymond. Number 5, Cliff joined the Suicide Squad for the second time as their tech support. After getting defeated by the second Firestorm, Cliff decided that it was best for him to rejoin the Suicide Squad, this time working as their IT guy. Sadly for Cliff, when he faced off against the new Firestorm, the chip in his head was damaged, so he was no longer super smart, and he was only regular smart. Cliff wasn't the best member of the Suicide Squad, often arguing or fighting not only with his teammates, but also with his superiors. Cliff ended up betraying the Suicide Squad in order to help the General, but this ended up getting him killed. Number 4, Cliff tried to kill Barbara Gordon during his second time with the Suicide Squad. Oracle had caught wind of the Suicide Squad and was tracking them via satellites and computers, and Cliff was tasked with stopping her. The two faced off in the virtual world, and to everyone's surprise, Cliff was about to outthink Barbara and cut her tracking systems. Still, that wasn't good enough for Cliff. Like so many supervillains, Cliff tended to hold a grudge and since Barbara escaped in the past, this time, former supervillain turned tech support guy decides to hunt Oracle down in the real world and kill her. Luckily, he was stopped by Suicide Squad commander Amanda Waller. Number 3, the third thinker, Des Connor, had telepathic powers. Des Connor only showed up just once and aside from the name Thinker, he was nothing like Clifford or Cliff. Connor's powers were telepathic in nature, allowing him to stimulate the fear center of people's brains and make them totally freak out. While working alongside a hypnotist, Connor caused some problems in Gotham City, but Batman took him down pretty easily. 
for reasons that Connor couldn't figure out his telepathic ability had no effect on Batman. Of course, we can all figure out why Connor failed to generate fear in Batman. Batman is the one who creates fear in others. Number 2, Mr. Terrific accidentally created an AI version of Cliff DeVoe. One of the three smartest men in the world, Mr. Terrific can pretty much build anything he wants. It was while building the integrated computer system for new headquarters of the Justice Society that Mr. Terrific decided to use Clifford DeVoe's old thinking cap as the brain of the system. What Mr. Terrific didn't know was that the thinking cap held a piece of DeVoe's consciousness. This little bit of DeVoe took over the system, creating a holographic body for itself, and joined the new Injustice Society, all without the Justice Society of America knowing he existed. The AI version of DeVoe finally let its presence be known to the JSA by having their own security system attack them. Sure enough, the JSA was able to stop DeVoe and the Injustice Society, but DeVoe, being little more than a computer program, ended up escaping. Number 1, the AI Thinker took over Keystone City. Free to run about, the AI Thinker headed home to Keystone City and started working through the city's computer systems. Over time, Thinker took over the city and finally made his move. The Thinker's plan was to use the brains of every person in Keystone City as a processing system, increasing his own power in the process. Luckily, the Flash got involved. Knowing that he would need someone smart to help him out, the Flash called out his buddy Cyborg. The two of them took on the Thinker, with Cyborg coming up with a plan to end the villain's reign of terror once and for all. When Thinker connected his system to Flash and Cyborg, the part man, part machine hero overlorded Thinker's system, causing the AI villain to shut down. And that is it for the video guys, as always thanks for watching, we hope you all enjoyed, if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more, and I'll see you all later.